Hello, this is the first uh, edition of IDP in Commander. Uh, that's Intelligent Document Processing. It's the first iteration of that, and it's used to be able to say, hey, I've got a document that I need to process, and part of that means scanning the document, getting information off it. And uh, we have this feature built now in uh, Commander, and in this I'm going to show you uh, how to build it. It's basically in two f steps. The first step is actually defining how to get the data out of the document. So you create like a, an entity that understands how to scan the document for the data and then secondly you essentially call that like a connector and then use it to scan the document i'm going to do both of those things i'm going to start off of course with our um uh, uh creation of our idp project okay so we need to create an idp application this is going to, going to be where we keep uh, the ways of of um sort of accessing the various documents we may want to do so this is going to be um uh, my invoice documents and that's my project. Next, I'm going to extract specific documents. So this is going to be, let's say, a uni invoice, great, and it's unstructured data. So we create that. So now we have a specific document that we're trying to abstract. And the next part is we upload a sample of that document. So if I click here, I have an invoice. So I'm gonna select that and open it up. So this is the document we're gonna be using as a, uh, a test, a guide uh, to extract the data. So once you upload the document, the next step is extract. And you see here, here's the document on the right that I've decided on. And now we need to actually tell the, um, uh, the LLM exactly um, uh, what we're looking for in this document. So for instance, let's say we want uh, this name here, seems pretty straightforward. This is where you put the uh, variable name. So this would be um, a name. And this is a prompt to describe how to find it. Uh, find the name of the person who the invoice is for. Okay, cool. So let me click add and now it'll try to do that. Next, we'll try maybe get the total. Uh, so this is gonna to be total. It's, all, it's a number, not a string. Um, and it's going to be something like, uh, what is the total of this invoice? Great, add that. And then we can get other random things like let's try and get the date. So date of um, let's go invoice. Cool, and this is uh, gonna be a string. And this is uh, get the date of the invoice. Okay, I'm gonna add that. <clears throat> now, once you've like defined all the different things you want out of the document, you can then choose a model. Now we connect to Bedrock and to see this, you should, there's some documentation there on how to set up um, a connector secrets because this requires uh, API keys. And if you connect that um, correctly, follow the documentation, then you should be able to run this. The next thing to know is which one you want to call. We're gonna use um, uh, Llama 3 this one here, and this model is gonna extract it. The point of this thing is to find out which model best extracts the data without costing too much. So if this is a pretty good job, you probably don't wanna to have to use Claude. I'm gonna click extract here, and now it's gonna go ahead and try to run these prompts on this test document. And in the end, we'll see what the extracted value is. We have John Miller there, we have the number that looks good, and we have this that all looks pretty good. Now, once we are pretty confident of this, we save it as our test case. So this is the this is uh, the, the 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 default. What we're basing the rest of the calls on. And then we have extract data. Now here we can use a couple more um, uh, things if you like uh, to see how they get on and uh, test it against different um, uh, uh, LLMs. And you can see that we can run the test. There's the expected value and we can test those documents we can also test more than one i've already done one document here but it's best to test between three and five documents um but once we actually have tested all these documents we're pretty happy about that we can then publish that and we can publish the project and this means we can then use this um uh thing it's going to be something like um let's say uni invoice Um, uh, the invoice yeah, will do and gets info from uni invoice. Okay, and then I click publish. Now, what that does is now we can use it in process models, and that's what I'm going to show you next. 
So we've now defined our project, I've saved my test case, and we've returned here to the main folder because just, just like the way connectors work, you define them once, then you leave them to be an independent artifact, and then you can end up actually using them in models. So I'm gonna just go here to create a BPMN model, and it's going to be a check invoice. Okay, and um, I have a start event where we uh, are going to start a process and then afterwards I'm going to have a user task and this is going to be upload a document. Uh, and after the upload document, then we can um, actually analyze the document and I can take a look at that by going here to change element. and. We used to have here all the BPMN elements followed by connectors. Uh, now we have a new um, thing here as well, which is we also have, if you scroll further down after the connectors, IDP projects. And you see here we have our invoice um, uni thing. Now I mentioned before about the secrets, they're here, okay? And um, I, uh, they're already predefined, so I have access to um, uh, Bedrock. And uh, let's go uh, get... Uh, data from file and then I'll just have another um, user task here for now just to see the, the results so okay so there's our process now let's implement that I'm going to go in here I'm going to create a quick little form and it's going to be um, task it's going to say upload document now, obviously, this doesn't do anything, but of course, we have here our file picker. So this is uh, how to upload documents in the form. So let's call this uh, documents. And you can have more than one, obviously. We'll just have the one document. And uh, we can specify a bunch of other things here. Um, so let's uh, go to the diagram because that's attached now. Okay, so now we need to configure this. We already have the credentials that are there automatically. The region is going to be US East 1, and now we need the actual document. And in this case, we know that we called it document and it's an array, so we'll get the first element in feel of that. So the first document, because this thing here can upload multiple documents. Um, and then we have a results variable. So let's just, let's not parse it for now. Let's just call it a doc results. So this is gonna put all the variables it finds okay and uh that looks like it's basically done i'm going to give this process a, a check uni invoice and uh deploy it and see if it runs so i'm going to click deploy and it's going to uh, send to that lovely cluster and now we're going to uh, run this i'm going to open it up and operate so we can take a look at it um, in all its glory um, once it loads and also I'm going to go to task list where I can start it and upload the forms and stuff so let's go to the process here um, we have check uni invoice is our process so I'm going to start this so this is our lovely process here and if we go back here we have our upload document okay let's assign it to me and now let's browse let's find our little invoice great stuff and let's complete the task so then we're going to be able to see is we're going to be able to see we have a running process there. It's going to move in a second to go and um, uh, try and do some data getting from the um, from the file. So now it's moved on. It's now going to activate the project we configured earlier. So it has the document. It knows how to find the data it needs to find, and then it's going to move into the C results. Okay, it's completed it. We have our document here. You can see the results. Um, well, that's the document. The results are here. Doc results. Great stuff. And we can see that they're all here. We have the name, John Miller. We have the invoice date. And we have the total of 306. And there we have it. Now you can do stuff with that, of course. You can use that to route the process. You can use it to do um, all sorts of checks. You can use it even to summarize with AI or something. And um, that's totally up to you. But that is how um, our new uh, IDP works with Comunda. So give it a try. Bye-bye.